So in this clip, we'll use ChatGPT to fix the spelling and grammar mistakes in uh, an email. Here I have this email that has is full of spelling and grammar mistakes. Of course, I used ChatGPT to write it as well. Um, so we're going to fix the email. You can just imagine that you wrote it and maybe English isn't your first language. It's something that is very common and you want to fix the spelling and grammar mistakes. So let's start by asking it. We're going to paste the email in that has spelling grammar mistakes. We'll say how many spelling or grammar mistakes do you find in this email? So you can see that it has lots of mistakes. It says, trust this email, spelled wrong, finds you in good health, spelled wrong and high spirits. I'm writing to provide you. It seems that ChatGPT understands more how to do a spelling error than a grammar error. It's like it can't do bad grammar, but let's see what its own analysis is. It says, it has identified the spelling and grammar mistakes in the email. Here is the corrected version. Oh, well, geez, ChatGPT, if you just fix everyone's problems so quickly and efficiently, I'm not going to have anything to talk about in my clip. I'm just kidding, but here it goes. So it just jumped ahead and corrected all the errors in the email. So, for example, I trust this email finds you in good health and high spirits. It's fixed the spelling errors just like that. So a lot of people I know, when you're writing an email and English isn't your first language, just take the email and punch it into ChatGPT and it will correct the spelling errors. If you're more interested in improving organically, you can try it again. So I'll say, count the spelling errors in this email. Do not summarize it or rewrite it until I instruct you to. Okay, and so it says there are 19 spelling errors in the email. Here is the corrected version. It kind of just ignored um, our instructions to not rewrite it. It just couldn't help it. So this is kind of chat GPT. Like sometimes it doesn't listen very clearly, but we still got a good corrected email. As long as we're clear about what we want, it will uh, do so well. Let's try a sandwich because what can happen here is we've given it the instruction don't summarize it or rewrite it until I instruct you to. But then we give it all this information. So by the time it gets here, it forgets about its instruction not to rewrite or summarize it. So we'll say, we'll just copy this whole email. We'll copy this whole message with the email and the instructions not to summarize it. And then at the end, we'll put a couple of line breaks and in brackets, we'll say, remember, do not rewrite or summarize the email. Just count the mistakes. Very cool. All right, so for some fun stuff. First of all, this time it says there are now there are 20 spelling mistakes in the email. ChatGPT is bad at counting. But we just learned a technique called prompt sandwiching where we put the prompt in this case we actually forgot the the prompt at the beginning. So we just gave it the email, but this time we put our instructions at the end. Remember, do not rewrite or summarize the email. And this time it didn't rewrite or summarize it. Previously, we told it not to rewrite or summarize the email, but it did because it forgot our prompt because it was all the way at the beginning. So by putting important details at the end of your chat GPT prompt, it's more likely to remember them. So let's try it with one more example. Here's a real world example. I pulled this from a Stack Overflow question. So this is something that someone very realistically might write, but the spelling and, and grammar is not good. So I'll say, here is a paragraph of text. Correct all spelling and grammar errors and make sure it has a professional business tone. And then we'll paste the text in. And so the person who wrote this, they, their understanding of verb tense is not too great. They should have used ChatGPT to help them. But there we go. We'll just press enter and we'll see if it rewrites it for us. And wow, we, get, we went from I build a CRUD app with React and Tailwind to I developed a CRUD, wa CRUD web app using React and Tailwind. So I just wanted to throw that out there to prove that ChatGPT is good at correcting spelling and grammar, even for human generated text, not just 
text that another GPT has generated specifically for the input of another GPT, but that's a topic for a different lesson. So we've learned how to use ChatGPT to correct spelling and grammar mistakes. Thank <laughs> you.